When the dead load of the slab and uniform lave load over it act in the downward direction, the forces in the end support or continuous support act in the upward direction to counterbalance the slab load. This action creates two types of bending moments in the structure. They are sagging bending moment and hogging bending moment as shown in the diagram below. The bottom reinforcement part of the crank bar resists the sagging bending moment and the upper bent up part of the crank bar tackles a hogging bending moment. Crank bar provides near the end supports on the top of the slab. It can be provided in the middle if there is any mid support provided. Bars are bent near the supports normally at an angle of 4 to 5 diggers. The angle bent may also be 30 diggers in shallow beams where the effective depth less than 1.5 breadth. What are the uses of crank bars in construction? 1. Helps in resisting bending moments. 2. To withstand the shear stress developed at the end support. 3. Reduces the overall weight of reinforcement bars required in the slab. 4. Helps in reducing project costs. 5. Prevents the failure of the slab due to shear force. 6. To avoid the risk of brittle failure. 7. To resist the sagging and hogging by single steel reinforcement. Crank bar specification. 1. Only alternate bars will be cranked. 2. Crank bars are provided at the slope of 1 in 10. 3. Crank bars will be provided for at least 300 mm in length. 4. Crank bars will be provided at different angles, such as 4 to 5 diggers or 30 diggers based on the beam depth. Why do we provide alternative crank bars in slab reinforcement? It is recommended that a maximum of 50% of the bars can be cranked to resist the bending moments so that steel is present in every cross-section of a slab. The alternative bent-up bars are sufficient to withstand the resulting shear force near the support. From an economic point of view, we provide alternate crank bars so that these bars are kept within a specified limit. At what distance bent-up bars are cranked in a slab? Crank bars are bent up at a 4 to 5 diggers angle with the bottom end is at 0.15 times length 1 from the center of the end support. At the continuous support, crank bars bent up end are at 0.25 times length 1 and 0.25 times length 2 distance on either side from the center line of the support. Crank length equals D over sin 4 to 5 diggers. Minus D over tan 4 to 5 diggers equals 1.42 times D minus d equals 0 0.42 so crank length equals 0 0.42 d where d equals clear height of the bar d equals thickness of slab minus top cover plus bottom cover minus diameter of the bar hope this video was useful for you please let us know your thoughts and suggestions using the comments form below we will love to hear from you